Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen L, or just Kristen, and I usually talk about science fiction and fantasy books and the words that go with them. I am really hoping that I do not have to use this footage, but uh, I'm going to the beach for a week and I won't be able to film while I'm there, so I'm trying to pre-record and I'm running out of time. I'm really hoping that tomorrow I'll have some time when there's daylight, but there's not daylight right now. It's getting dark. And this is my really sad lighting situation and I just I, I don't know if I should wear glasses or not because <laughs> they make a lot of shadows and when I don't wear glasses I tend to scowl and look angry <laughs> I don't want to do that either so I don't know which is better um, so I guess we'll just wear them I'm sorry for the shadows I really if you have tips for lighting drop them in the comments I need them I have like tried to study it and I can't figure it out but anyways this is my personal TBR for new release a thon. I am so excited about new release a thon. It is starting August 1st, and these are the books that I personally am planning to read. So if you're interested in my recommendations, the books that I have read before and do recommend others to read and enjoy, uh, you can watch that video. It's in the playlist, which is linked below. But this video is going to be what I haven't read that I plan to read. So this could also give you ideas, but I don't know if they're good or not yet. I can't give my personal stamp of approval. But here's my bingo board. I'm just going to show you the whole thing all at once. This is it. Um, so we'll start with the top row. And I have two anthologies, actually, for short stories. So the prompt is just read a short story. But the hard mode is read an entire collection or anthology. And there are two anthologies that I'm actually really excited about. Um, the first one is The Memory Librarian, which is a collection of stories by Janelle Monet that's in her dirty computer universe, which I'm actually not terribly familiar with, but it sounds really cool. And I think, I don't know if she wrote all of them or even any of them. I know she does have some other authors that wrote stories. I don't totally know how it works, but I'm really excited for this collection. I have it on hold for my library. Hopefully it'll come in time for the new release-a-thon. I'm also really interested in The Way Spring Arrives, which is a collection of Chinese science fiction short stories, um, which I heard about from Rhea the book, at the Book Finch, who read this in their Shorts and Sorcery short story club and I didn't read it with them unfortunately but they just had their um, discussion with Rachel from Kalanadi they both read it and they really liked it it sounds really good and this would be a great book to read for new release of because it fulfills so many prompts it counts for a short story um, collection it also counts for a bipoc author it counts for a translated it counts for a non-USA author in the global south so that would be really great. Um, also, Memory Librarian, obviously, that counts for BIPOC author. All right, let's move to the second row. Now, this is the row that I think will most easily get a bingo, a bingo in. <laughs> um, for novella, I have The Bruising of Kiwa by Nassim Jemnia. This is a new-to-me author there, Persian-American, and the story is set, I think, in like a fantasy Middle East. I'm really excited about this. This is also a debut. It's a novella. It also counts for hard mode because it is tachyon publishing, not Tor.com. And this is a book that I did discover myself, so I guess it counts for a book you have not heard about. And of course, it's a BIPOC author because they're Persian American. And I think, I could be wrong about this, but I think I remember that the author is non-binary. So that could also count for LGBTQ plus representation. Um, and it's uh, not lesbian or gay, so it counts for hard mode. I'm not sure if the characters are queer or not. I, I'll let you know. <laughs> Next, for title without articles, hard mode, one word, I have Ithaca by Claire North. Um, I don't know too, too much about this, but it's a Greek myth retelling, which I tend to love. I think this is about Penelope. Sadly, this really only counts for that one square. <laughs> so that'll be my book with one word title. Then for read an entire magazine, I have Eta, which is a Brazilian magazine. It's, it's speculative fiction, short stories. Um, written by Brazilians and translated into English. So this counts for translated, it counts for Global South, it counts for short story, it counts for magazine, and it's also a magazine that I have not read before. So this will count for hard mode. And it's a host rec because I learned about this from Shannon from That's So Poe and she's one of her hosts. And then for BIPOC author, I already have that square covered many times over, but I have Kaikei by Vaishnavi Patel. I am so excited for this one. It sounds amazing. Obviously, this is also going to count for title is just one word and new to you author. I've never read this author before. And I believe, it's, I'm pretty sure this is a debut. So this counts for debut also. All right, in my second row, I have Mickey Seven by Edward Ashton. 
And this counts for new to me author. I have never heard of this author before this. And it is the start of a series. This is the first in the Mickey Seven series. Um, so I'm really excited. This sounds like just a fun time, a fun concept. It sounds really similar to, if you've seen the movie, I think it's called Moon, where the story is about this guy that's working on the moon by himself. And then he discovers that, spoilers, he discovers that he's a clone. And every time he dies, just another clone wakes up. It sounds similar in concept to that. So that sounds like fun. It sounds like a good time. Not necessarily deep, but definitely playful and fun. And then in the last row, I have but one book, sadly, and that is Fevered Star by Rebecca Roanhorse. And this is counting for LGBTQ plus rep because there is at least one character who's bisexual. Um, I feel like there were more, I don't even remember anymore. I really need to review Black Sun before I head into Fevered Star, I think. But obviously this will also count for sequel and by book author. So that's my whole TBR. I might be able to squeeze more in there. I'll be happy if I can read all of these though, <laughs> especially since two of them are collections, which tend to be long. I, I don't know, I'm a little, I'm a little doubtful that I can read both short story collections, but um, I have a lot of different ways that I can get bingo. If I read that entire row, I'm golden. I also have diagonal bingo. So I think I got this. I can't wait to see what you all are going to read. I know I'm excited to learn about other new releases and hear reviews for books that maybe haven't been reviewed too much yet. If you are a booktuber and you make a video with recommendations or TBR or anything, let me know, link it below, and I'll add it to our new release of fun playlist. I want to see all of the books that you're reading and excited about. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so excited for a new release of fun. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, give this video a like, and I really hope to see you next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.